there they are together. It's that old appointment. Why is Why does appointment have a bandage on his head? Oh, they were raised together. So at least they weren't separated. Oh shit, that's why Pointman doesn't he has a thing on his head. Us from mother, but he failed. Oh, she was still influenced them from a young age. That's interesting. De Pointman, determined to find Jin, leads his brother on a search for a way back to Fair. Because he wants to play old school RuneScape with you again. <laughs> oh yes, that's that makes complete sense now. Get up, they're coming. Fettle appreciates the finer things in life. Now I understand completely. That's interesting. So they weren't separated from a young age. So they were raised together. But Pointman doesn't remember Fettle, but Fettle remembers Pointman, which is interesting. I wonder what they. Excuse me? Sir, you've dropped your legs. Sir. Oh no, I have some in the purple guy. <laughs> it's getting crowded in this chat. There's too many things summoned. The creeper's starting to hiss. What the? That looked like Alma, but it also didn't look like Alma. That's interesting. Hello? Alma? Fettle? Samantha? Oh, they're in the sewers. Of course. Where's my guns? I just realized I don't have guns. God damn it, they took my guns from me. <laughs> the Illuminati is in chat! Jesus Christ. Where is this blood even dripping to? I know it's dripping up, but it's just like into the abyss. I barely, I barely ran into that pipe, but apparently I exploded it. At least I have a gun now. Ooh, ew, cobwebs. That weird, like, um, the same thing that happened before, like, he, like, freaked out and grabbed his head is happening again with the whole, like, gray frame around the game. Hurry yourself to get all of it. I'm going to get Oh, your chat has been invaded by the Lummy Bird yourself. Oh, there's Jimmy's in this game? Oh, great. Where are you? They made a Jimmy or Jimmy's a lot scarier, too. Excuse me? I heard that. Nothing over there, nothing over there. Way down, I hear something. <laughs> Zero one way. <laughs> Ow! Excuse Man, me. Echo three one. We got him. Preparing. I'm betting Jimmy's gonna come in. Come up the northwest corner of the oh, sucks to be you guys. Yep, there's Jimmy. Oh, he is a lot scarier in this game. Holy shit! Jimmy OP. Jimmy OP. Jimmy got a lot more OP. Jimmy, no, Ron, she kills your guy. Jimmy got way OP. Oh, it's pregnant, Alma. That's right, because in the second game, she, in a sense, raped the main character to get herself pregnant. I didn't. I thought she would have had the baby by now, so she hasn't had the baby yet. So in three, I'm guessing she has the baby. Um, this doesn't seem like a good decision. That's racist! <laughs> Jimmy looks sick. Give Jimmy a hug. She was doing the T-pose. The oh. I'm in Alma. I don't want to give Jimmy a hug. He screamed in my face. Okay, I was like, if I come up on you, little child, and you scream in my face, I swear to God. So I have two guns now. Actually, is this the same as this gun? Oh, it's the same. Okay. Never mind. Don't mind me. But I want my cookies. Army, the game's not letting me have my cookies. Give me my cookies! Oh, Wouldn't like me when I'm hangry. Jesus. Hang on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Eat. What the hell? What? Why are there. Alma? No. Echo 
squad's gone dark. Are you actually bringing me cookies, Army? Hey, we'll leash on this subject. Will have us all twisting in the wind. You dork. You need to pay five ninety nine to eat a cookie. Those are some expensive cookies. Like for one cookie, that's exp. Those better be some damn good cookies or one really big cookie. I feel like I'm crouched, but not crouched. Oh. Oh, thank you for the cookies. <laughs> I didn't think- he, he brought me cookies. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring me actual cookies! Yes. Oh, you dork. Brought me two Oreos. Yay, cookie bug. That's fun. <laughs> so you can eat it multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so you just pay one time? God, the EA reference is great, though. That sounds like something EA would do, too. Hey, you want a cookie? You gotta pay 20 bucks for it. But that's the only way I heal in-game. Still gotta pay 20 bucks for it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I like how everybody was like, Be God, demon, when you said you don't like Oreos. Get out! Only people who like Oreos are welcome. <laughs> Okay, but no, Quetzal, we were just joking. Quetzal, come back. We love you, Quetzal. And then he's like, I'm back to lurking. I got my nut huts to do. You gotta get that mount. As long as you get Ergo to stream 14. <laughs> we are so pushing Cody to stream 14. He was like, I will stream 14 when I'm ready. And we're like, tomorrow? He's like, no, when I'm ready. In a couple days? No, when I'm ready. Next stream? Stop it. <laughs> he's like... I kind of want to see his reaction to the new storyline. That's why he needs to do like a stream for um, the stream 14 and do like the storyline and do like reaction. I think it'd be really good. Are you- did you summon Kappa into the stream? I see you back there, I just can't hit you for some reason. Oh shit, there is like no good cover over here. Where are you? Oh, he left? Where is this guy? Oh fuck, I'm in a bad spot. Hold on. Oh fuck, I had no ammo! I didn't know this! If I could get- give him the sub, I would, so he'd feel obligated? I mean, you can buy the, uh, what, the 60-day card on, um, Amazon. That's the only way I think you could do it. Why God does that be He's a so good at reacts. I need him to do the story react series. I think it would be very good for him to do it. Yeah, we're talking about uh, Final Fantasy XIV, um, which is an MMO, um, if you're not aware. Um, we're trying to get a buddy of ours to stream it, because he hasn't beaten the story yet. Which, actually, the only... I've gotten up to heaven board in this, when, we, when it comes to storyline. I just got the Stormblood. So, uh, but we want our buddy to stream the storyline because we think it'd be he would be great with reactions. But it's one of those games that's a sub. It's one of those games that you need to sub for. So it's like right now, I I don't know if he can't afford it if he's just waiting. So, but yeah. Confused? Who could have never played a you've never played a Final Fantasy? Well, I would say if you're into MMOs. Um, the Final Fantasy XIV MMO is probably one of the best MMOs I've ever played. Where's all the shooting? Are you trying to shoot me through the door? Command, how, how did I end up in a city all of a sudden? Oh shit, I didn't mean to change guns! I've made mistakes in my life! But maybe I want to leave. You're not my real dad, you can't control me! Shit. Not to reveal too much of, uh, or what's going on with this, but he's able to stuff. No, I get that. And I know he said he's just waiting to do it when he's ready. I, cause I was, I know we were messing with him in, um, chat, but, like, he was like, I'll do it when I'm ready. Which I get. Cause, like, Army and I were going hardcore at Final Fantasy XIV, and then we were just like, we need to take a break from it, cause we were going too ham at it. So... I get it. And like when you're not playing it, it's like not worth the sub. The only reason Army's subbed right now is because he has a house. So, and you know the whole like if you're not on the game for 30 days, you lose your house. So it's like. Yeah. The closest thing I've played to an MMO is RuneScape and Fallout and MMs! MMs like the candy? 
Unless I, I, I might not know what um, MMO we're talking about. Another good MMO is Warframe. It's a good one. I actually haven't played... Um, I haven't played RuneScape. I've watched people play it, but I never got the chance to play it myself. And are we talking about, like, Fallout 76? Is this Fallout 76? Are you talking about that MMO? I'm not losing my, um, media... Wait, if you, like, um... Well, Toy Story, Final Fantasy, it, it's essentially, yeah, no, Final Fantasy has great stories. Yeah, I know you don't want to lose your house army. Warframe is an MMO. I would say it is. Um, because it's one of those games, it's a, oh, thank you for the follow, Brother Ray. How's it going, man? Back to six dreams, I go. I like how we were like, well, now we only have four to watch. And then, like, two other people come on and we're like, never mind, now we're back to six. And then one person goes off and now we're back to five. We're like, this is chaos. But it's great. It's great meeting a bunch of new people and stuff because everybody seems like really chill and really cool. So I'm I'm really excited for the whole thing. Um, you don't even need to play the MMO Final Fa uh, Final Fantasy. Any yeah, any of the uh, Final Fantasies are good. I think you would like Final Fantasy Martin. It's a really good story, and the graphics are great. Final Fantasy 14 is great. Final 76 is not so MMO. Is it really? I thought it was more. I thought because like any kind of like online multiplayer RPG is kind of classified. Really, I am trying to have a conversation. Really, you're gonna throw a grenade? That's is that how it's gonna be? This is getting out of hands. <laughs> now they, there are two of us. Uh, Why don't you oh my goodness! I see you. Thank you, um, Army, for doing the shout out for me. Now there are two of us. Yeep! Fallout 76 flopped hard and is playable. And it's playable now, so did they, like, do something to make it better? Boss of Ziggs didn't have... They didn't have NB... Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. So it was literally just an all-player game. That's interesting. I mean, if you do it right, you can make it work, but that seems really interesting. Could follow up... The big part of Fallout's story was, like, how interesting the NPCs were, like, their backstory, so to take those out... I would think would it make Fallout as interesting, or Fallout 76 as interesting. A helicopter will likely be the only way to escape. Ah, I guess we're hijacking a helicopter. The PvE was terra bad and the PvP was paid away. Oh, it's one of those. That reminds me of, is it Plan Escape? I don't remember. It's one where you like, it's like a big fight. It's like constantly like wars. And you're, it's kind of like Risk, but with like modern warfare, like you're trying to take over certain parts of the uh, map and stuff. Um, I played it with a buddy, but he was like, it's kind of paid away. And I was like, yeah, I kind of know this. No. No. Oh, shit. God damn it. I never gave it a try. I never gave 76 a try because I heard about how bad it was. And it, and it sucks because I'm usually a uh, Fallout fan. Fallout is like one of my favorite series. No. That's why I never, um, I used to always, you know, like, pre-order games. Yeah, they're all dead. Um, I don't do it anymore. Because I got so disappointed with games. Like, I would pre-order a game and then it would just be, one, it would either be shit. <laughs> or two, it would be, like, unplayable. Like, it'd be so glitchy and stuff. So, the only time I pre-order a game is if it comes with a cool statue. Like, say, for instance, if it was Fallout and it came with, like, um, dog meat statue or something really cool that I wanted, then I would pre-order it. But if it doesn't, then I don't pre-order it. I just wait till it comes out and I wait for it to be out for about three months before I buy it. Because by that time, hopefully they fix any glitches that there was to the game. Yes, another soul for the collection. Community, get Fallout 76 Bethesda. Okay, have a community fix your shit. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Community's like, hey, can you give it to us sooner? And then uh, Bethesda's like, sure, I guess. And the community's like, why don't you fix it? Except with anything Nintendo. Nintendo's pretty good. I have to say, Nintendo's patient. But uh, but Nintendo's also not rushed. Like, people could be like, hey, get it out this time. And also, Nintendo, the good thing with Nintendo too is if they know something's not ready. They'll even say, like, hey, I know this was supposed to come out in April, but we're pushing it back to, like, May um, May or June. So they're pretty good about being like, hey, I know this isn't ready. Let's give it a couple more months. I really want to get Assassin's Creed Valhalla 
the both of those games look great. I'm really excited. Uh, you've never played Assassin's Creed is pretty good, but it's one it's a stealth game. So if stealth games aren't your thing. Like for me, I'm not the best stealthy person, and everybody knows that from watching me play Dishonored. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that game I got the bad ending. Um, if you're not good at stealthy, you can. St but it's one of those games that you. D it's yeah, like you get benefits for being stealthy, but you don't have to be stealthy. Whereas it's Dishonored, it's kind of you have to be, because if you're not stealthy, you're either gonna die or you're gonna use a lot of your resources. Did they come in in here already? I'm so turned around. Where am I going? I really want the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla to be good. I'm hoping it's good. Well, hello, Tally. How are you? Um, Assassin's Creed is a great mix of real events versus game logic. So the game, like, yeah. Well, and I like that they actually use like actual facts. Like they put actual artwork and they put actual historical facts. So you're kind of learning. Who said you can't learn from video games? Um, thank you for doing the shout out, Army. I appreciate it. God of War. Yeah, God of War is great. Because God of War actually puts some, like, actual mythology into their games. It's my favorite mythos, and I used to like the game, but the story felt super recycled after the first couple. What, God of War? Or, oh, are you talking about Assassin's Creed got recycled a couple times? Um, Tally's your highlight of, <laughs> highlight of the night! Oh, Assassin's Creed, yeah. Um, 2 was really good, and Ezio is probably my favorite, um, Assassin's so far. Ow! Ow! I stubbed my toe. <laughs> now I'm taking damage out in the real life. This game is too real. Um. Man, this is Charlie, two but six, yeah, I get that. Well, an army. Oh shit! Oh shit! I'm taking way too much damage. Army and I also talked about that. Um, the movie actually did the animus better than the actual game. Because I don't like the fact that they were like, oh, he has muscle memory from being in the Animus. I'm like, he's literally laying down on a table. How do you have muscle memory from laying on a table? But then in the movie, they actually made it like this moving arm thing that moved with him. And I'm like, that makes a lot more sense. God damn it. Someone put down. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people here. Me. Give me one second. Let me just take care of my buddies over here. I just have to get them their cranberry juice and then they're happy. Oh, I thought the chair was treating me. I have all but two of the AC games from free promos and just haven't played because they felt like nothing to draw me back. Yeah, I haven't had really anything to draw me back. I kind of want to play Origins, even though I've heard that it's not that great um, from some people. I want to play Valhalla, of course. I have all. I have almost all of them. I just haven't had, to, like you said, I haven't had to draw to play them. I have most of them, though. Um... The things I want to buy now are Subnautica. I... And the DLCs for Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is great. I have the DLCs for Fallout 4. I have played one of them. I played Far Harbor. And that was great. Um, Subnautica, I watched somebody play, and that was... That's a very calming game. It's really good. Assassin's Creed 3 was okay. Black Flag and Rogue was amazing. Unity was buggy. Syndicate was great. Origins, meh. And I haven't... I haven't played Odyssey, and I haven't played... Um, Unity, if I remember correctly correctly. Unity and Syndicate I haven't played. Um, I think I've played Rogue. Actually, no, I haven't played Rogue. Um, but I have played Black Flag, which was great. It's not really the muscles having memory, it's their theory, but the neurological... Yeah, true, but again, like, he's actually, like, strong. Like, if you notice, like, he's, like, climbing walls and stuff, and I'm like, you're laying in a bed. You wouldn't get that kind of, like, strength. Oh, they... Why did I switch them? Oh, for fuck's sake. My favorite still to this day is Brotherhood. Brotherhood was the best game. I just think um, anything with Ezio was really good. So I think Ezio was in three games, wasn't he? He was in Brotherhood, um, two of course, and then he was... I like, fight me! I like armies like, fight. are you really behind me? Excuse me, sir. I'm playing Odyssey now and I love it. Yeah, I was watching you play it and it looks really good. And that's what makes me want to play it. Um, you are lucky the automaton. Do you see lets you build robots? Yeah, I was so excited about the robots. And I'm very picky about my how I build my robots. I wanna play it, but my mun to buy no mun mun to buy. Yeah, mun muns kind of are necessary to buy How did you get up here? There's a door here? I like I like heard him, but I couldn't see him. 
Fair. Yeah. You know, mun muns, mun muns are important. You know, you gotta. Unfortunately, we gotta pay for food. So I guess food is important. I agree the muscles wouldn't be there, but I don't think we know enough about his life to know if he had a strike. Plus, I know the whole like assassin gene. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to spoil it for people. But like, I, I don't want to say what the assassin gene is, kind of thing. But um, I guess would also play a factor in the whole thing. Like, I don't know if that also makes him like just naturally. God, not another freaky totem. What? But, but I have cookies. See, I have cookies. Oh, hey, Ellis, how's it going, man? Ellis, the chillest, the realest. Hello there. <laughs> Thank you for doing the shout out, Army. Army's like on top of it. Army's like, I've been prepared for this my whole life. All the shout outs. My butt hurts. Damn, love it. <laughs> Hello. Peekaboo? I know you're here. Aw, oh, thank you for the follow. Wait a minute. Quetzal, were you not following before? Quetzal. <laughs> Not a problem, it was, yeah. Good job, Army. Thank you, Army. Quetzal! <laughs> what is this? I know I took a hiatus for six months, so I mean, that probably was it, too. Better late than never. No, that's true. That's true. I have to say it's better late than never, but I know Quetzal is real life. That's why I'm giving him a hard time. No. Stop switching guns. I keep doing that on accident. Ugh. I repeat, man down. Oh, oh, that's a lot of helicopters. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Nope. I don't care. Let me in your garage. So much for an easy escape. You know, Fettle, you could be a lot more helpful. Oh, it's not- not this douchebag. Not that. I need to remember how to use grenades. Jesus. Well, that did nothing. They made the robot a lot more scarier than this. Gordon Freeman, better, li better like Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> you guys. What are, what are we talking about? You haven't played Half Life? No, I. And again, I haven't played Half Life yet, so I have no idea. I just like how it sounds like um, Gordon Ramsay and Morgan Freeman put together. I like how Quetzal was like Morgan Freeman and Barbie was like Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> It's rotten! How much ammo does this guy take? Ow, ow, ow. I need that kidney. That's my favorite kidney. Stop it! Stop it! I'm out of ammo. Which reminds me. Blueberry hungry! Nom nom! The attempts against my life left uh, me scared, scarred and deformed. I need to play that Half-Life game. Die! Nope, not a series I played and the super hype kept me from it. You're kind of like me, that I like, if something's like super hype, I don't, it, it doesn't make me want to play it anymore. Like, I have to actually have a drive to play it. The biggest thing that makes me play a game is my friends telling me that it was a good game. Like, I know Cody and Judd have led me to play certain uh, games. Go down! This gun sucks from a rain. No. Rank up. That's helpful, but don't do slow-mo right now. This is not helpful. Who's shooting me? I know he's behind me, but I thought there was somebody in here, too. There is somebody in here. How did I miss you? Um, Half-Life 2 and a half. How many Half-Life games are there? Is there three? I thought there was three. I need more ammo for my other gun. Oh, I have ammo for my other gun. No. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Just kill him! <laughs> I just panicked! I panicked so hard. Oh right, fuck! <laughs> fuck! Fuck, I need more ammo. Fuck. How did I not hit you? Okay, where's the other guy? Right, are you behind this wall? What's behind wall number one? More cranberry juice. What? I see you. Flanking me. This is why you look when you shoot. Okay, you're done. Like, Final Fantasy... Oh, 10 and then Final Fantasy 10-2. Like, cause I, some people see 10-2, they're like, is that 12? And it's like, no, that's 10-2. Okay, we see Half-Life 2, Chapter 2, Part 1. <laughs> oh, God. You know how confusing that would get? Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy X2, Final Fantasy 12, Final Fantasy 12. And... Yeah, it's like that. You're like, what number is this? I'm so confused. It's just like, stop already, my mind. It's like, if you're gonna make, like... Final Fantasy 13 and then Final Fantasy Part 2, make it like a DLC so it's like not as confusing. Or make it like Final Fantasy 14 and just make it about the 13 universe. The problem is, is that every universe, every number is a different universe. So like 13 is its own universe, you know, 12 is its own universe, that kind of thing. So I think that's why they do like um, Part 2. Final Fantasy 9! <laughs> Watch, we're gonna live to the day that it's like, it gets to like four digit numbers. Or not even four, just like I'd be surprised to see if Final Fantasy would get like Final Fantasy 100. To take this or not to take this? So I could see us getting the Final Fantasy like 100. one beta to support Phasecaster. Copy command. Uh, be advised, my instruments aren't looking that hot. Request to fall back once payload is dropped. Deploying Hotel 57. It's hilarious how Final Fantasy came about with the name even, but Final Fantasy was was his last game. Was it? Yeah, I'm about ready to snipe some people. What am I doing? Oh. What the hell are you? Oh shit. Can you just open up portal? I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. I shot the butt. Ah! What the hell? Why did I stand up all of a sudden? It was supposed to be his last game before he left the industry, but was popular. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Definitely a lot of them. Are you behind me? Oh shit. No. What the fuck is hitting me? What the- what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What's happening? Why are there no people? Did I bug the game? Don't mind me, I'ma just kill this person leave. I feel like I bugged the game out. Cause like nobody spawned. Don't crit me! Of course you go undercover right when I do that. No. The only thing I hate about snipers is it takes so long for you to be able to take another shot. You shoot once and then it's like, wait a couple seconds and then it's like you have to shoot and then you can shoot again. No. Oh, I can carry one more grenade. Oh, thank you, game. Get so nice. Come in, jump right on 2-4. I've got a Oh, there's a thing. Oh, I need to trade. I just realized I didn't have much, uh... Where are they? Oh, there you are. Oh, of course you go behind the barrel. I just realized I had, like, one more ammo of the, uh... Sniper. Holy shit! Who's hitting me with the... Frickin' grenade. God damn it. Electric gun. Wanna hear a double joke with 
I am very curious about this double jump. That you fuck! Where is he? The guy that had the, like, the electrical beam. Can I shoot you from here? I have no- well, it'd be nice if I had a gun with ammo. And with that gun, I need to get closer. Jesus Christ, that one gun! to hit because that gun hurts. I don't know what he's using. Ow! Ow! A cup of tea. T-E-A. The cup is free. Um, but you have to pay $50 every tea bag you buy and every tea bag you receive from your enemies once you die. Oh my goodness gracious. That sounds... Oh my god. It's like so true. Like loot boxes. I have no ammo. What are you? What is this? What is this? Ow! I need gun. I need ammo. Fuck! Now there's a grenade. Jesus Christ! What he gets? And he didn't even leave any cranberry juice. How so? I need. Where is it? I saw the. There it is. Like, I know you have a gun. Um, I'm trying to get more ammo before I, like, leave. What is that? On my screen, I, it doesn't- I, I can't see it. Now would be the time. Well, hold on, Fettle, I have to get some ammo. Don't rush me. You might be older. Oh, no, wait, I'm older. Because Poitman was first. Better listen to your el elders, Fettle. The former Fettle! Right How do I get up? Oh, wait, the ladder was over here. Go, 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 go. No. Pointman, use your slow-mo powers. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, Flip, how's it going, man? I appreciate you stopping by. And Ari's like, I'm on this. This is my moment. Well, that's good. Again, the teams are going well so far. I'm meeting a lot of cool people because of it. I'm Just chilling. Sounds good. <laughs> you're just yeeting out shadows. 
I'm glad I'm glad you believe in me, Fettle. I mean, that's what a brother should be. How do you unlock Fettle for this mission? I feel like Fettle, you just go in and use your psychic powers and you're just shredding people apart. Because look at his, like, I don't know if you guys can see his picture because it's faded, but he is literally surrounded in, like, psychic energy. Whereas Poitman was more like his the psychic ability just allows him to have faster reflexes and to slow down time. Whereas Fettle, you, sh like, literally rips people apart. <laughs> Get off my helicopter! Yeet! <laughs> 